Yo, I, uh, I got a, a new haircut. Got a new haircut. So I've been playing Cyberpunk for, for the better part of, you know, 15, 20 hours. Like, I'm not new to it. And I, honestly, Cyberpunk's been, like, a huge disappointment to me. I haven't, like, looked at any reviews or anything, but, like, I wonder if I'm, like, the only person who thinks that. Like, I'm not going to pretend like I know everything about Cyberpunk because I was, like, 12 when it was announced, right? So, like, I'm not going to know everything about it. But, like, I, I definitely bought into the hype a little bit. And uh, it's, it's honestly really disappointing because they really hyped up the, the, like, classes or whatever, the life paths to be, like, something, like, super crazy and, like, it was going to affect the whole gameplay. And it really hasn't been. And, like... The AI is really bad. It's like, like, for instance, I was doing this one mission where like you were you were killing a cop or you were killing a guy, and then some cops literally spawned in the room next to me. It's really disappointing because it's one of the like only games recently that I've been like actually like excited for because for the better part of like a decade, I played like the same games over and over. Like I played a ton of RuneScape. And then recently, like, a ton of Overwatch. And honestly, like, that's really it. That's all I've really been doing. And I can't find anything else to, like, get excited about. You know, there's no reason. Especially, like, like now that I... I remember when I was a kid, me and my friends, we would dream about having, like, our own, like, custom PCs to where we can, like, you know, play this or play that or, you know. And, and now that we do, or now that I do at least, like, it's just not the same. Like, I'm not enjoying it as much as I thought I would because like I said all I do is just play RuneScape and Overwatch. Can I hit this dude please? There we go. Like all I do is play RuneScape and Overwatch and I like I don't want to say like I feel like I'm wasting it but like I'm definitely not taking full advantage of my PC and it, it really sucks. And that's like been me with gaming in general. Like I just can't seem to find the same passion I had when I was like Eight, which like obviously like stuff's gonna change but like I still I just can't find it and it sucks because I really want to it's not like that I like dislike gaming it's just that I don't enjoy it as much I'm destroying this widow by the way like if, if anyone here is like addicted to it like if, if you're addicted to a game like please let me know because like I I need something new to play not just to play but like to actually get addicted to like I want to get into gaming again because like I said I don't like I'm not like bored of gaming I'm just I can't find any games to like enjoy. And I realize I sound like depressed or something. Like I'm definitely like, I'm all good and everything. I just, I just can't, I just can't find the motivation. And it doesn't help that I'm just like, like when it comes to like Overwatch and stuff, like I'm not that good at the game. Like, like this game, I'm actually doing pretty well, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not good at the game. Like I'm getting ready to die at this, actually. And maybe, you know, that's just like a part of growing up, I guess, I don't know. So I got a new phone today and I never realized, cause I've had the same phone number for what? Six, seven years maybe. And I never realized how much like, or how tedious like changing a phone number is until I've had to like text everyone. Like, yo, can I hit a shot? That'd be super cool. Like I've never, re oh my God, I'm so bad. I've never realized like how hard it is to like <laughs> change a phone number and like, I realize I'm gonna have to do it again in my life, and it's just such a nightmare. But for the for the one person who cares, I switched to a uh, T-Mobile because uh, they were um, they were offering like the same stuff I was already doing, same plan I was already on, and it was like the, it was ten dollars cheaper actually, and I got more benefits because you know like T-Mobile Tuesdays and stuff. So I feel like it was worth it. You know, I figure I'm always overpaying on my phone plan because like. I don't know, like, I always get unlimited data, right? Like, obviously. But, like, I feel like I don't take full advantage of, like, my unlimited data. Because, like, I'm in college, so, like, I'm not, like, it's not like I'm, like, out a lot. Because, you know, there's a whole pandemic or whatever. But, like, I don't take full, like, I do Uber Eats sometimes because I'm broke. But other than that, like, I don't really take full advantage of my of my unlimited data. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll listen to YouTube in the car or something because, you know, I definitely don't watch it, but I don't know. I feel like I'm, like, the only one who does that because, like, everyone else, they're like, yeah, I use this to, like, the fullest and stuff, like. Oh, 
Oh man, that was kind of nice, huh? And honestly, if I'm thinking about like, honestly, just like my cell phone plan, I don't, technically, I don't even really need a cell phone plan because like, you know, you have like iMessage and stuff and you don't even, like, you know, you don't need a cell phone plan for that. Yo, I'm like, I know Christmas is coming up soon. It's in like a week or two and like, I have no clue what to get. Honestly, I'm broke. Like, I'm so broke that when I bought my, uh, when I switched over to T-Mobile today, like I, <laughs> my bank account, I, I thought I had like a hundred and something dollars, right? And I got my haircut, which was 20. I, I took five, so $25. And <laughs> when, I, when I paid for my T-Mobile, I got a notification on my phone from my bank account. And it was like, we moved three cents out of your savings account to pay for your last transaction or something like that. I'm like, oh, I wonder why they would do that. <laughs> I looked and I have no money and I, I have no money in my checking and I have like a few cents in my savings. Like it's, it's, it's bad. No, but I have, I have absolutely no clue what to do for Christmas. So I, I'm, I, I like pride myself in this, but I'm actually like a really good gift giver. Like, I'll remember stuff from like 10 years ago, you told me, you know? Like you'd be like, oh man, my, my dog, my dog Spot had like three legs and, and he had this jacket I really love for him. It was sold out except for this one on eBay and I'll remember that and like I'll go and get it for you. Like I'm a great gift giver. And if it's something like that, like I'll, I'll do something like matches like your personality and stuff, you know? I really try my best to like thoughtful gifts, like, like gifts that show like i actually oh my god pay attention you know i don't have to buy too many gifts this year like i just have to do like like my mom my grandma and my girlfriend and i need to spend money to get those gifts and it sucks because i really want to get them stuff I j i'm just so broke <laughs> i'm so broke all the time Yo, i don't know if i'm the only one like at least who plays overwatch and does this but like i play this game and and I'm like actively not having fun. And like, I just stay on this game for hours and hours. It's really bad. So it's like a self-destructive abusive boyfriend type cycle. Like it's not good at all. And honestly, I'm not even like that irresponsible with money. Everything hit at like the wrong time, you know? Like it's like, what's that? Um, a series of unfortunate events. Does anyone remember that? I remember they used to have like an Xbox game or something and I used to play that all the time with uh, like my mom or maybe it was like GameCube or something. I don't know. I don't remember like what it was. I had a hair in my mouth. I don't remember like what you did in the game, but I remember like I used to love that game. But like I spent like a bunch of money on my credit card and like it's fine. I'm gonna get so the way my tuition works is like I get more in financial aid than my tuition is. So I get uh, like a refund of whatever the overage is. So I spent a bunch of money on my credit card and it wasn't even like bad stuff, it was like essential stuff. Like I had to get new tires for my car and like a phone bill or two. And like my car is almost maxed out, but like, I can make the minimum. Gotta make a gotta make a GoFundMe, you know? I saw a stat where like like one third of like people's medical bills are being paid through GoFundMe and how that does like more insurance or something than uh the US, which I think is wild. Like it makes sense because you know our, our system's kinda broken. Is anyone else just like really confused on like what they're doing? Like just in general, because like I kind of am not gonna lie. Cause like I said, I'm like, I'm a college student. I don't know, like I don't have any like any internships. I don't know if I'm a good at grad school. Like I'm confused on like all of it, you know? But I'm just like, how do you guys like figure out how to like be an adult? Cause like, I'm definitely not ready. I just, I just don't know. I don't know what to do.